Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. If you haven't by now, please go over to the Facebook group, Don't Tell My Wife. If you're into collecting, if you're into collecting these particular figures, this is a great group to be a part of. So make sure you do, at least check us out. Now, if you aren't aware, uh, from my Kaiju Daddy channel members, there will be a Christmas giveaway. This will be the Mafex comic Captain America. I know it's it's sold out in a lot of places at this point, um, so I'll be giving one of those away to a channel member. Now, announced today, we have the May Day Paca. This is the P2B Paca and May. Um, this looks pretty great. Uh, that bathrobe looks pretty really good um, you can see that you get a lot of different options with the p2b paka as well as the may you can see here it comes with a little bit of a mask that you can put on her head so this is pretty cool it's a really nice figure it was teased a few months ago i'm going to say at this point and uh, if there's any indication of the more recent figures that figuars has put out this is going to be a great figure a real banger so Take a look at some of the photos that they released today. Here you get some Mayday pictures looking pretty good. It's nice. Something going on with heroes and their babies strapped to their to their chest these days. Um, so here you get a look at PETA. It's a nice sculpt. Good colors on that. I know that I'm probably going to pick up a couple of these just because I like the different range of poses uh, and displays that you can have so this goes up for pre-order in a lot of places today in japan it'll go up on the 18th which is tomorrow and here you have a look at uh, some of the other figures in the line so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the different figures that have become available already so this is the miles morales figure from figure arts this one is across the spider-verse and they have resolicited this, so the pre-order started in September, and this will release, I believe, um, I believe at the beginning of 2025. Don't quote me on that. So, here are some of the looks for the figure. Again, this is a re-release. Um, it looks pretty good. I didn't pick this particular one up. Um, I was a little bit sour on the figure arts at the time, but. I'm probably going to pick it up just because I like that they're going all in on the on the uh, on the IP. So here you can see you get a couple different looks. I do think that the figure arts head sculpts for the figures from across the Spider Verse and into the Spider Verse are probably the best out there. So um, if you can get past sort of the wanky wonky joints and and such, um, they're great figures to pick up as you can see right there. So this is the Miles and the Gwen. So we'll take a look at the Gwen as well. This one is also resolicited. This one will go out probably at the same time as the Miles. Figure Arts is pretty good about keeping their schedule. So you can see you get great articulation on the figure. Different poses, different looks. With the hood up, with the hood down, with the mask off. It's a good looking figure. Um, my my really only issue with these figures is the legs. The legs are a bit thin. Here you can see the different eyes, which gives you uh, some nice looks, some nice poses. The legs are a little bit thinner than I would like. I'd like them to be a little bit more sturdy, but I know that it's probably a little bit truer to the animation um, that way. So looks good. It's a nice looking figure. And like I said, I'll be picking it up. Now here's the Miguel, the Spider-Man 2099. This one came out, I'm going to say, over a year ago at this point. Uh, this in Japan was a Tamashi Web exclusive over in the States. I think it was available uh, in a lot of places. I ended up picking one up off of Amazon. Kind of late. Um, I'm glad I did. It's a great figure. Uh, the only issue that I have, and I think a lot of collectors have, is the knee. The knee plastic joint, sort of the kneecap, easily comes off. And if you're not careful, you could lose it. So um, you can see there in the photo what I'm talking about. The knee kind of sticks out. And it's a separate piece. So it's easy to fall off. Um, just be careful if you pick up this figure. I know there's a knockoff out there, and people are trying to use the knockoff knee as a replacement. I'm not really sure at this point whether or not that works. So here's the Spider-Punk. This figure came out this year. This is a great figure. I was really impressed by the figure. Really cool. Um, 
The sculpt is is fantastic. You really couldn't ask for a better sculpt. You get a lot of posability. The legs, like I said, I'm not sure if it's the line um, or, or what they're doing, but they're not the sturdiest. So posing them without a stand sometimes is a little bit tricky. Uh, and any type of little movement might knock them down. But if you have a stand, um, they're great. Like I said, you can see there, the, the way that you can pose these figures is fantastic. So this is a great figure. You can still get this one. You can still pick it up. Um, I know that it's re readily available here in Japan still. I'm potentially going to pick up another one. I like it that much. Just because, again, all the different poses that you can do, it's really great. So... Um, so if you haven't picked this up, you should do so. It's, it's a great figure. Now, here's that India Spider-Man. Um, forgive me, I can't remember his name exactly, but this is another Tamashi Web exclusive here in Japan. Uh, this one, again, is pretty readily available outside Japan. Amazon has it uh, in the States. Maybe even Big Bad Toy Store does as well. So this comes out um, pretty soon. And... Um, I ordered it from Amazon. I, I didn't really want to put the money down with Tamashi Nations at the time. But another great looking figure, as you can see. Great posing, great posability. If you're a photographer and you want to do some toy photography, these are great figures. Now, if you haven't gotten into um, these Japanese lines, these Japanese figures, and you stick to Marvel Legends, you really need to grab one of these and compare it to your Marvel Legends because the paint is better, the sculpt is better, um, you know, the engineering is better, the quality of the plastic is way better. So um, if you think it's not worth it, I pick one up, pick one up, check it out. It's a great figure. Um, all of these are great figures. So this is the rooftop Miles. This one just released. Um, it's releasing now at the Tamashi Nation's New York store. It already released in, in the Tokyo store. So it's a little bit different than the other Miles. It has a more kind of metallic black, as you can probably see. Um, there's a different head sculpt that comes with the figure as well. Uh, it's supposed to replicate Miles upside down with Gwen, and there's also a Gwen figure that released at the same time and you get some effects on the hands there as you can see so it's, it's a slightly different figure um, the paint is different some of the accessories are different now the Gwen came out the Gwen is a much um, more noticeable difference with the paint you can see and the head sculpt is also much more noticeable um, so the head sculpt when you have it uh, upside down the ponytail will will droop um, and you do get the eyes slanted um, as you can see right there slanted towards miles now some people have asked online are there magnets in it no there are no magnets in it so you can't really display this look without kind of having them attached to something they will fall over so the figure arts line is is killing it they're really great now there's another line out there um, by sentinel sentinel is a great company and this is their Peter B. Parker figure. Their Peter B. Parker was a home run. So as you can see, it came with the Peter Parker head from, from when Miles first encounters him and he dies. And then the Peter B. Parker that came into Miles' universe. It's a great figure. Um, it comes with various accessories. It's possibly one of my top three, top five Spider-Man figures if you don't have this figure. You really ought to try to get it. I ended up getting the Deluxe when it came out. The Deluxe was too hard to pass up. Here you can see him with Miles. The Deluxe came with so many great accessories. Um, and this company re-releases this figure all the time. So here you can see some of the looks. Some of the looks of uh, Peter eating, typing, doing all various type of things. So the accessories um, that it does come with, you can see you get a bunch of hands, a bunch of great webbing on the different heads. You get a fat gut for the Peter B. Parker that enters Miles' universe. And if you get the deluxe, you get that kind of lion um, statue sculpt that he can sit on, which is a great piece. It can actually attach to your wall. So if you pick that up, you could hang it from the wall. 
Now this is the Sentinel Gwen and um, Peter B. Porker. So this is a it's a pretty nice figure. Um, I didn't grab this. I ended up going with the Mofex one, but you do get a lot of great options with this figure. The Sentinel figures are pricier than the Figuarts and the Mofex. Um, so be aware of that. But you do get more options with it. And as you can see, this is one of the options with Gwen. So you can get both, you know, Spider Gwen and um, Gwen Stacy as a student. So it's pretty cool. And the um, PDB Porker figure does come with a bunch of uh, different options as well for displaying much more than the Mofix one, as you can see here. So it's a great figure. Um, like I said, I didn't get it. I ended up going with the Mofix one um, as my main display. This is the Miles from Sentinel. You can see that it is a sculpted clothing that he comes with. Again, I went with the soft goods from Mofex. I thought it was a, a better option for me. I may go back. They re-release this figure all the time, uh, the same as that Peter B. Parker. But you get a lot of options, a lot of great um, sculpts, a lot of, of great accessories with this particular figure as well. So all of the lines scale together. So you can't you can't go wrong mixing and matching. That's what's so great about these three particular lines releasing figures from the same IP at the same time. So this is the Miles when he's in his um, cloak mode. This is a great figure uh, when it released. Again, a little bit pricey. Um, it comes with some great accessories including exclusive accessories that you can put on the original miles um, if you want to if you want to change his head up or or give him different effects on his hands which is which is pretty cool so i haven't picked this one up this one has been available um in a lot of places here in japan since it released there's no real rush on it and i think it's the same thing with big bad toy store but it does give you some good options. I, I'm not a big fan of their Miles sculpt compared to the figure arts of the Moffix. So I'll just say that. Now, um, the Black Noir here, the, the Spider Noir, I should say. Getting confused with the boys. This is a cool figure. I passed on this only because of the price point. It's pretty high up there in price for what you get. And I just figured that figure arts or Moffix would release their own version. So um, I'm waiting on theirs i'll probably give it another six months if if they don't release something or announce something or tease something i'll probably end up going back and and trying to locate this and and buying it and picking it up for my display it's a good looking figure um i have the so so toys one sixth version of this which is a great figure uh, but i haven't picked up the one twelfth scale yet so if you're looking for a really cool figure to to put into that Spider-Verse display um, right now in terms of um, import figures for most of you, this is probably the best option that you have. It's a really nice looking figure. Now the Penny Parker, um, I passed on this, even though the robot looks incredible, I passed because Penny is essentially a statue. It doesn't move at all. There's no articulation whatsoever. So I didn't really want to get something like that because, again, um, you know, I wanted to display it and move it. I didn't just want the robot. Although, I mean, the robot is great, but if if I'm going to buy a penny, I'd rather buy one that you can somewhat articulate. And uh, I'd really rather not have to upgrade one later and then that one just goes into a box. But the robot is great. You get some really nice options, and as you can see, it scales pretty well uh, with the Sentinel Miles. So another great, great release by Sentinel. Now we can take a look at all of the figures here by Sentinel um, that have released so far. They're really good, pretty nice. Um, hopefully we get more. With all the companies at this point, what we are missing are the villains. Um, Figuart, Sentinel, and Mofex have yet to release a villain in this line, which is baffling, considering they've released so many others. This is the Mofex Miles. This one um, is the Renewal, which just released. It's basically a 2.0 uh, 
not even a 2.0. It's a re-release of of the earlier miles that they released a few years ago. I haven't really noticed any um, big difference or any noticeable difference in the figure itself. This is a great figure. I have this one. Um, it has great articulation. It's a really nice head sculpt. Um, very good accessories. The soft goods jacket and shorts are, are really nice. So uh, if you're looking for a Miles, like I said, that Sentinel one is sold out. The Figure Arts one you could probably get, uh, but this Miles just re-released, so it should probably be a, a bit easier for you to locate. Now the Peter B. Uh, renewal version, which is this one, just re-released uh, as well. Again, it's a re-release of the other one. I don't see, I haven't noticed any, any difference between the first one and this one. Another great figure, um, the soft goods, the, the jacket, the, the pants, all the different accessories are really great. And this is the Gwen, which just re-released as well. So lots of options out there, a lot of great options. This Gwen, uh, it, like I said, it's the one that I picked up. I ended up grabbing it. I liked the head sculpt on this. I didn't particularly like the figure arts um, legs in terms of freestanding. So... Um, if you're into, you know, this this particular movie, into the Spider-Verse, across the Spider-Verse, you have a lot of great options out there between Figuarts, Sentinel, and Mafex. And for the most part, most of these figures are still available right now. So you can see right there the different head sculpts and um, masks that are available with that particular Gwen. And here is the Peter Porker. I know I've been saying Peter B. Porker. My mistake. Um, so thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope it helped. So take care, be good, and I'll see everyone next time.